Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat at Rutherglen today. Yeah, I thought it would be a bit of a change. I have been working over at Patterton Way. And, oh, I got it right. Don't dwell on it. It wouldn't make for a very good intro because, well, it will all make sense shortly. I've been doing roadworks. Although I will say that uh, motorways and dual carriageways are as much a part of the Scottish scenery or the British scenery, in fact, the world scenery, as are fields and trees. So, yeah, it's going to help the, the whole layout of the land over there and give us a little bit more to look at out the window as we're driving through the Scottish countryside, which I'm looking forward to. What are we doing today? We're off to Pollock Shores West. Yeah. I thought I'd mix it up a bit. We're going to dance between doing a bit of scenery and then a few stations, a bit of scenery, a bit of station work, and uh, slowly fill in our map. Eventually, as soon as we have finished lines with uh, some nice scenery, we'll mix and match in some bonus cab rides. Yeah, full cab rides. Because the way the lines, or some of the lines, work around this area, they have an end point, don't they? So we can detail the entire branch and then take a cab ride on them without having to wait until the end of the series. So that is something I'm looking forward to. It's nice to be back in Rutherglen. I'm hoping the express comes by, but I've just remembered it doesn't end at Camberslang anymore, does it? No, it ends at Neilston and waits there for a little bit. It was asked whether Neilston will have an operational turn back. Yes, I'm going to give it a go. Now, we've still got the timetable to come, although I'm going to wait until we at least get to East Kilbride and head the other way as well. Uh, that branches off after Pollock Shores West. I'm not sure where it goes the other way. Before we leave, there we go. There was a little edit there. <laughs> I just waited for it because I wanted to see it. We finally got to see the uh, intercity train go by. Perfect. UI is up. Here we are. And uh, there goes our intercity train slowing down as it heads into Glasgow Central just over there and we're heading over back where we were guys and uh, not much has been done in the way of detailing of trees and fields wise but there we go our road is oh, our road our road network is starting to come together and this road does indeed connect up to where we built there so this should be interesting as we will be having ai towns out this way they may use these and I've gone for the manual placement rather than, let's bring it up, rather than, the wrong one, rather than these. Because they have issues with cars slowing down. Where's our other one? Cars slowing down on these points. So they might not get used. It's a real shame because they look absolutely marvellous, don't they? They do the job. We're going to have to work on that a little bit. I'll figure out a way to, to get this, what I'm doing over here, working for here. The problem with doing that here is it's going to have to be separate and perfectly aligned. But we do have street construction. We do have these. So we might be able to do it. Possibly. It will be tricky, won't it? But uh, I'm up for the challenge. I'll give that a go. There we go. There goes our train. Heading down the branch line now. All the way up to Neilston. It's already starting to come together, isn't it? It's lovely as the roads fill in. And once we get some AI over here, I don't want to put it in yet because I'm not finished with the road layout just yet. I had to improvise a little bit. This road is actually that side, but obviously... We're the other side. Technically, I guess we could have had it that side. But then this would have to be this side. So this will do. 
I mean, it's a fun little layout, isn't it? It's not bad. This was fairly easy to do as well. Uh, using that tool I just showed you. Where are you? Yeah, this one. Because you can make nice bridges. It's actually a good way. In fact, I'll show you. It's a cheeky way of making a, a quick bridge. If you... Uh, it doesn't matter what you put these on. Uh, yes, we want to include the bridge. Take the tracks off. But for both rail and road... You can tweak the uh, the length here to exactly where you want it, as well as the height with comma and period. So you can get a rough idea of where, where the lowest point is. And you can possibly do the same with tracks. I've not tested that theory. Yes, you can. You don't have a choice in bridge, but look at that. You can just get it working. There we go. It's a nice way to make a bridge. I would like that with bridge selections, wouldn't you? That would be an absolutely fantastic tool on its own. But yeah, that's something to uh, look forward to when you're making bridges. And this just turns around at the end there. I made a little bit of a mound and put it in a tunnel. It's sort of a portal, isn't it? Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Outside connections. But... This is not Skylines, no. Here's some of our country road connections going on. These are going to be very much abbreviated because it's not really going to matter from trackside. But what it will do is allow me to fill all these gaps in with some nice field work. And I've been on the workshop again. We'll be experimenting with these here, these uh, field layout things that we've got going on here. Uh, I've not had the chance to test them yet, so that is why we're over here. I've extended it and got the road layout a little better. Pollock Shores West, should we take a look at the map, guys? This is an interesting station. I wasn't expecting it. Pollock Shores West, just here. And if we zoom down, look at that. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it kind of sits on a little raised section and then the top floor is platform level and the ground floor is like the ticket office and then you head up. We're going to have to improvise there a lot. I do have an idea for it. Uh, if we just zoom around like that. There you go. You can see it's just the top of the building there. What a fantastic layout. That's absolutely wonderful. Do have a little building over there as well and uh, a little shelter yeah i like that station it impressed me it's different isn't it very different and that bridge we do have this is interesting i didn't notice this we do have a viaduct going over road and isn't this the same river we've got yeah white cart water the one that goes all the way past uh, or underneath Pollock Shores East. That's kind of cool. It's north of Pollock Shores West and goes through Pollock Shores East. That's absolutely brilliant. Right, we might be able to do something with that. We've got a roundabout here and another bridge. I guess I should leave room for that as well. So we'll curve it round. And then we've got our junction here. This one going off to East Kilbride. And let's check, where do we go this way? Or the furthest for us, I think, will be... There's Neilston. So, Barhead. Barhead is probably the furthest we go on this map. And then it wiggles through the uh, mountainside here. Mountainside, hillside. Golf club. Yeah, and I don't think we go all the way down through Dunlop. No. No, nowhere near. Because we end... We end somewhere... We end, where do we end? We end here. That's about as low as we go. But we do get an East Kilbride, which ends... Oh, Busby's an interesting one as well. It's got a car park up, not Busby. The one up from there, Clarkston. That has a car park on the roof, but we're not doing that today. Right, there we go. Pollock Shores West is on the map for me. We'll get back in game. 
Should we go for it, guys? Should we give this uh, a little bit of a go? Now, given that the river goes under here, do, will we have enough room to do the little road, the viaduct, and then the river? I guess we could do the viaduct from this point early on. It's a bit of a squeeze. We were supposed to be over there, but we've kind of shoved everything along. And it does give us quite a bit of room to get back on track and connect up here. I was determined to get this in. This would be Clarkston, just there. Then we've got two stations here that I've not looked at yet. Oh, that would be kind of tempting, wouldn't it? I wouldn't mind seeing if we can't get this viaduct in. How long do we want it? We don't want catenary out here. Something like that. That would make a good viaduct, wouldn't it? We could even cheat a little bit and use these uh, these lovely viaducts here. That's the only thing we can't do. We can't really preview it, can we? We'd have to get down there and then lower this down. I think they're going to be good enough, aren't they? Yes, there we go. Except for them being quite low. Oh, I don't know what to do about that, guys. What's going on there? Would I need to do it? Oh, that's water. Well, I guess by the time we get down to the Clyde up there, we can we can do that, can't we? Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. That's better, isn't it? If I do that again... Oh, it drew it back. I didn't need to do any of that. Well, perhaps we can experiment with it now. We just want the, the normal arches, don't we? And in grey, would it be that? Ah, there we go. They're now touching. It's a little bit high, though, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Although, if we need to get a road under there as well as the river going through there. Yeah, I still think we can just get it up a touch. Because technically the river's flat for us because we're going to be using textures. So if we go along there. Oh, I wish it would remember where our bridges were. Or which bridges we were using. If we go like that. Will that be good enough for us? And we just get that one in like that. And then we have back on solid ground over this side. And then we'll have our station. Oh no, you've got bridging on. Turn that off. Then we'll have our station straight after it. Get that solid ground. And then there. Then we'll have the station. That should give us a road underneath. I think we're supposed to be a little bit higher than we are here. Uh, it's a little bit deceiving at the moment. This road shouldn't be heading up at all. It should be just heading flat and around. Get that flat. And we can flatten this area. So we've got a better idea of how much room we've got to get a road under there. It doesn't leave as much, does it? No. What's the sort of height we could get under there? It's only a small road. One will be the river. And then there'll be a tiny road. If we can't fit the road in, it's not a big deal. Oh, it's going in. Well, that's not too much height to gain, is it? Can we get it a little bit higher? And we don't need any trucks going under here. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. Just a little bit higher. Am I pushing it now? Possibly. Well, okay, we're still going. Oh, this will be fantastic. Yeah, just do that then. Yeah, it's low. I don't mind. Right then, that means this road would be coming round something like this. Oh yeah, get it on curvy. Oh, and don't forget player ownership. Let's get that going round that way. There we go. And it can head off that way, and then I'm pretty sure there's not much of a height difference to get under that bridge, is there? No, it's, it's almost perfect. So then this one would be uh, heading off round that way. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. And we should be able to smooth all that out around there. And we'll have the river, which means we'll need a little 
and a little road bridge over here as well going under here we'll be able to get that all tidy we'll hide it with some bushes and some trees all right yes wasn't expecting that uh, so if we get this on circle and we draw our river up to that point and we'll just paint it to get a rough idea of where it will be let's get what we're looking for water oh i love that this doesn't lose its focus the text box there well what did we go for was it water green blue medium if my memory has got this right i'll be super happy I think it is that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be going under there. I mean, technically, we don't need it to go under there. We could make a fake bridge, perhaps. But yeah, there we go. I like it. Obviously, it's not going to look like that. Uh, we could do something with this. Maybe put some stone in there to give it a bit more of an edge. Because the way it bends down isn't great, is it? We could, of course, make it lower, but I don't think it needs to be any lower than that. We've got the idea of it uh, working here. Yeah, do you know, that might be that might be it. Right then, shall we see if we can't get this station in? We're going to have to delete this bit back. Thankfully, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. How far are we gone? Not too bad. No, that should work. Right, trains. Let's get us. We're going with our... Uh, Where's our new British one? And we want two tracks. It really doesn't matter about what tracks we use. As we're going to have to delete them. And I can't remember the speed limit down here. I think it's 50. Oh, that means our little diesel is going to get to come up here. That's wonderful, isn't it? Right. Let's sort out the track before we do anything. That's worrying. Let's get rid of you. All the way up to there. I'm going to imagine that uh, it's not fixed. That you can lay track down with track already there. Yeah, you can't. It's fine. We'll get this in up here. And then we'll get up and just delete that little section there. It should all line up perfectly, shouldn't it? Oh, it's not remembered again. It's fine. We've got scroll bar this time, guys. Let's connect this up. Should be perfect. Absolutely is. This track would be heading off that way. And I'm going to keep it nice and flat. Because we need a junction coming up as well. Where's our... Yes, that should be fine. So we'll do it somewhere like that. And then we need this to come on and branch off. I don't know the speed of this. Um, so... Let's do 35 and leave it at that. It looks like it's quite tight, doesn't it? So if we keep going round at 35 here and start heading round for the first station there, and then we can kind of make our way back the way it does there. So it'll be something like that, and then we'll just keep going. This bit of track here is actually this bit of track coming off at this point so we'll send that up as we want to be meeting this bit of track continuing off there's our last station bar head i guess we can have a portal station up here to represent uh, wherever that goes that could be a thing we do i mean we could even have that populated with some ai but yes right now Sort of avoiding the issue of what we're going to do here. First things first. Pollock Shores. West. Now I have a tendency of saying Pollock Shields and Pollock Shores. All for the wrong stations. Bear with me on that one. I think this is ideal for this station though isn't it. What I'd like to try and do. If we go down to our passenger buildings here. Not passenger platforms. Passenger buildings. We do have these. And we could make this work. I think using this. It's going to look a bit strange at the moment. It's a bit see-through. But we can fill that in. 
with some concrete blocks and things. Maybe even some ballast. Well, actually, we might even be able to just use the ballast. We'll see how it looks, though. I'm just going to go for a rough idea. And then we can get on board and just see how it looks. Mad Hatter did some vanilla ones. If we go with the, the big one here. And we just hide it. Including the fence. Put it in something like that. It doesn't look too bad though, does it? I know the windows are, are in the ground there. But. Looking down here. It, people might use it. Which will be fantastic if they do. So if we get our terrain tools again. And this is where the road's going to be. Uh, just a, a little bit further down. If we go over here. You'll see we're about the right height. It's all turned out nice again. And a little bit fortunate. So there we go. So what they're going to do at the moment is teleport up onto here. I guess we can uh, configure that to be possibly these. And we just put them there and there. I wonder if that will work. I know we've got some stuff poking through there. It's a little unfortunate. I don't think we can avoid that. But I do like this. It's sort of coming together, isn't it? We could even use uh, the smaller building over this side as well. What else was there? There was a, a little shelter, wasn't there? Could we put that in? Do they have shelters for this? I thought there was. Yes, it looks sort of like that. We'll just put it at that end. Oh, I do like it. We'll have to block this off somehow at the side just to hide how we're doing the uh, the functional bits in there. It's pretty amazing that we're hiding it. I'm sort of happy with it so far. What can you do to make that work? Perhaps these, if we go six meters and we go under there, it is connecting. Uh, I don't want them really walking through the building but I don't think it matters right so that will be our path access now we do want to get kind of a little brick wall there don't we which will mean we'd need to lower this down a little bit we're going to have to be careful because we know that we do have water here it will mean our road will have to come down to go past here kind of be nice to get it working wouldn't it could we do something like that? It's going to be a little bit wider. Because that path will attempt to connect to a road. Just there. Yeah, it's not connecting. Alright, that looks like it's going to be our little wall. And then we need to come down. That's too high, isn't it? That's... Yes, it doesn't need to be that high. Right. Let's, let's shove that up a little bit. And then we'll go across like that. We might be a little too high now and it might connect. Yeah, it's starting to connect. When it does this, it's connecting over there. Uh, so that was nice and low. There we go. You can see it connecting there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait. We might be okay. It's a little high. But I think I'll take it, providing it goes up there okay. Yes, it does. Not 100% accurate. We might be on to something, guys. And this bit of the road can just head back up that way. There we go. Start heading back up that way. Get that in. And what we can do is flatten this section out. For some buildings there. For our trainee ride flatten that down there and there and then what we're hoping to do on this side is connect with a little path down which would be uh, here so will this work can we get this connected i can't remember what size road i chose here was it six meters i think so will you connect i think you will Right, can we get you down? How much of a slope do we need you? Because we don't want the actual road to 
So the actual path to connect. This is unfortunate. But I'm not sure what we can do about that. But that will give us a connection. It's just a real shame about the extra paths we've got going on there. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, that's a real shame. Yeah, they're going to scoot up the side and through the wall. The fact that it's even remotely working, i probably take it. Now, can we get a wall going along there manually? It'll be tough. Yes, I think we can. Is it too much to ask to get an invisible track going somehow down here? That would be lovely. Would it block? Oh, would it block that? If we had this here. Oh, come on. That would be ace if that happens. If we put that there and up to there. Are you connecting? You are. You're connecting to all this road. Guys, right. Now, can we use this? You see, the road's not 100% level. I don't know whether that's 100% level either. And it does some bizarre things. If I get rid of that and we redraw it and make sure it's 100% flat, then that'd be better. Just there. No idea. This road might be curvy. We'll see when we put our building blocks in. Oh, yeah, look at that. I don't think that's sitting straight, unfortunately. Do you know, it might be a case of close enough. In that case, then, if we get gothic here and we just tweak the width and track center, we might just be able to get away with width. I would like it to be up to the... Yeah, up to the edge would be lovely, wouldn't it? Can we just get you... Would it be minus? We might need to do these. That's tilt and slope, Grand. That won't help you. Oh, there we go. Oh, that might be perfect. Can we get that running along here? Oh, you're not even close to being straight. Oh, it's horrible. I don't know why it does it, guys. I really don't. Trying to make anything flat is ridiculous. There are ways to do it, but it shouldn't need to be done. If I've chosen a flat piece of track, and then it should be flat. Right, if I go there, and then I put this bit flat... Then we delete that bit back. And then we go flat the other way. Are you going to work this time? Let's hope so. Get in there. Back to our sets. Will you work? There we go. Lovely. Unnecessary steps, isn't it? That's all it is. I like it. Uh, we do have a bus stop. One down here. I don't know where the other one is. So we'll put... At least the bus stop in. So yeah, there we go. This bus stop here. We'll stick one on that side. I don't know whether the other one will be up this side. I'll put it up there for now. Yes. Are we happy with that as a new station? I don't think we're going to get to that station today. We might. We might. It needs to be at a bit of an angle, but I do not, ideally, want to... Uh, stray too far from this if we do keep it at an angle kind of follow this angle so we go straight oh yes pick here what do we need 50 i think that's what i've gone with if we keep this straight yeah we should be able to get away with this and then go, kind of go that way and then drift off like that and then have our station just here I mean, we could put it in. Just so we've got a little crossover. We can have a crossover just there. Oh, guys. Uh, we don't have to detail it. I mean, we haven't really detailed that one either. But it is in. I, I say I haven't detailed it. The building blocks are in place, quite literally. You know what? Put the station in. Buildings. It's going to be this one same length and then we're going to have to come in here configure it do I keep saying Clarkson no I think I did say Clarkston didn't I I'm not sure now guys 
<laughs> oh dear. Right. Then we'll come out of here, delete that bit of track. We might as well do it in one shot. Uh, where is our... You won't find tracks in there. I don't know what building to have for this, actually. So what I will do is we'll put the tracks in. And we'll leave it like that. Obviously, we're going to need to connect it at some point. I feel like it might not even be that fast down here. I don't know how they get across either. Well, first off, <laughs> sure, some of you were mentioning this to me politely at the screen. Uh, this is Thornley Bank. It's not even Clarkston. Clarkston's this one past here, wherever we cross over that one up there. There we go. It's, yeah, it's just there. That's Clark's, Clark's done. This is Thornley Blank. Blank? This is Thornley Bank. Not a mouthful. And uh, it's actually got access either side, uh, heading up to a road uh, with a bridge going across. So if we get us our King's Cross, where's our old entrance things? Where are you? Where's our old entrances? There we go. If we just get a couple of these in down here, that should do us, I think. Maybe that close will be just fine. And I can't see. It looks like they have a couple of buildings down the end here. I'm going to go one there and one there. That should do. It also looks like ticket machines, but they might be trash cans. But we can put them that end. There we go. And this is not Clarkston. Thornley Blank. Oh dear. I can't I can't say it. Thornley Bank. It is not blank. It's Thornley Bank. Perfect. Right. There we go, guys. Got it in. Unbelievably. I'm a little bit surprised. I guess we're going to be taking a diesel cab ride today. I'm still clicking through every single menu option. I never got over the difference between Transport Fever 1 and 2, let alone this change to the UI that we've got going on now. Will that do us if we start heading back that way? Oh, I don't know whether it digs in like that. But it certainly doesn't go like that, that's for sure. Yeah, that might do us. We can head that way. We're not going to put another station in just yet. I'm tempted now to hook that up um, soon within the next couple of episodes. What we could do, though, is have a temporary crossover just here. Uh, I've not checked the layout yet. We're going to need a road going across the top. This road's going to have to come around and do some things. Now, obviously, we're going to need a signal somewhere just at this junction. Just going to go with normal signals. There's a bear. He's making a run for it. Oh, if that's... No. <laughs> I was going to say, is that Broxy? And we've lost Broxy, I think. Uh, do we want it that close? We could have it at the end of the station controlling that junction, really. I just don't know where it would be. Somewhere like that. And we can have it one way. And then there'll be another signal this side. And there'll be another signal there. And I guess we can have one just here controlling this. And leave it like that for now. More than likely there would be a signal at the end of the platform here. There we go. And the other one would be just there. But when we carry on. There we go. Thornley, bo <laughs> Thornley Bank. Thornley Blank. You're going to be renamed at this rate. I can't help myself. Let's get some more signals in. And they tend to like putting them either end of the platforms. So they being Scott Rail. Here we go. We'll do that there. Will we need more than two blocking signals? Maybe. Because, well, I don't think they're going to be too frequent. Because it does branch off. There's a bit of a sharp turn there, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why I've done it that sharp. Maybe I'll tidy that up at some point. How big are these trains? They're not very big at all. If we have one there, one there, and then we have another one there, and 
there. Should that do us? I think so. It's almost evenly spaced as well. Well, actually, that's not too bad, is it? What's the speed around there? Uh, it is... No, it's still 50. That's perfect, then. There we go. Should we extend this line? I need to save it. There we go. All saved. And talking of save games... Oh, where's my voice go? <clears throat> I might have to end it there. My voice is vanishing. That's not good. Makes recording YouTube videos a little difficult. But anyway, why does that say Kilmarnock? Ooh, is that Kilmarnock that way? Or if that's the case, we could have a Kilmarnock portal up here, couldn't we? You got distracted completely. So let's extend its line, finally. Our diesel, the Kilmarnock train, gets uh, a, a proper little run up down here. Although I might have put the platforms in wrong. Fantastic. Uh, well, that's two. I've got one and these are the wrong way, aren't they? Oh, my days. I'll double check. I should have checked today, but I didn't. So it's my own fault. It's a shame you can't change them around depending on uh, which track you put in first. I think it just does it depending on its orientation, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, so, cross Maloof, then you're going to Pollock Shields West, then to Thornley Bank, then back, then back. And why are you doing that? Because Cross Maloof wants to be... You can't be on one both ways, so you're going to have to be two that way. Well, they're all on the same side, aren't they? So that's the thing. That train's going to be broken for a little bit. Then, I guess, Pollock Shields West needs to be... Oh, yes, we've got this signal here. What is that signal? Oh, it's that one. That might not be needed any longer. Yes, we don't need that. There we go. Oh, so you're two. And then you are going to have to be two as well. And then one, one on the way back. Uh, you do do this correctly. Oh, it's guys, it's grabbed my my button. I've got it. It's let go. I thought that was a bug they fixed before. I guess not. Or they've reintroduced it, probably. That will be after this cross my loop, wouldn't it? Then we can put that back in. There we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. Where's our train? He's a little bit broken. You need to uh, flip. There we go. And I guess when he comes back, we'll add another one. This I love this train. Wonderful. Guys, we've got... We've got a new little route to go on. Hopefully you don't scoot down there. Yeah, I'll add another train on this. It'll get busier and busier. Eventually, we're going to have to add the one that's heading this way to Kilmarnock, which... This one is not Kilmarnock then, is it? No, if we keep this correct, what we can do is change this to Glasgow Central to East Kilbride. There we go. That's what that will be now. And then we'll add a Kilmarnock train later on. Perfect. You get to this. We'll take a ride on it. I don't think there's much in the way of uh, your doors are open. In the way of detailing going on there. There's a little bit, isn't there, from what we're doing down this end. But, uh, yeah. So, before the next episode, I'll probably work a little bit on our fields over here. And draw some more of the roads. Connect some more of these roads up. The reason I'm doing this line and this line is because it gives us an enclosed section that we can work on and detail up in between. And then we're technically detailing two lines at once. So yes, two birds, one stone. Same with up here as well. Uh, all this middle section will be able to get done and completed. Right. When we head out, we'll duplicate him. Oh, you're in the wrong platform now, aren't you? Uh, that's not where you're supposed to be going. This is going to make him all sorts of unhappy. It was 13? Was it 13? I think so. Yes. That's what we had him running on. 
Lovely. Right. He'll be fixed next time around. Uh, his doors are all sorts of broken, though. Lots of trains. Lots of action coming in and out of uh, Glasgow Central here. Two of our circle line trains following each other, except they're going around different ways, I would imagine. Because we only have one of these running, don't we, at the moment. One counter and one clockwise. There we go. Our diesel is just pulled in here. The class 170. I guess we should get on board. Well, when he leaves, that'll be good enough to duplicate him, I think. We could even maybe make him wait at East Kilbride as well. The same length of time he waits at Glasgow Central. Which sounds like a good plan to me. Yes, because when he gets into our duplicated train, he's going to wait here, isn't it? So it's going to force the spacing. Yes, we may have problems. Possibly. It might be worth doing, though. Right, come on. Are you nearly done? Is there a timer? There isn't. You should be going soon, though. Do you want to get on board? Or is this for a different train? Oh, there we go. We're off. Manage vehicles. Let's duplicate you. Hopefully nothing breaks. Perfect. We've got another train running this line. The first time in a long time. Oh, yeah. This train is for Edinburgh. It's not. There's a there's a fantastic camera for this. I do. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely terrible. Oh, dear. Um, I don't think you can page up and page down either. It's the worst camera. Yes, I forgot about that, unfortunately. Guys, I messed around with the camera. We're, we're there. Fortunately, it seems to turn okay. We don't kind of lean too far out. On the track there. Uh, it's probably still a bit high. There we go. Probably a bit too much to the side as well. I thought I had it right. There we go. That should do. There we go. Guys, that was an episode. Didn't expect to get two tracks in today. Was that our diesel counterpart coming around the corner there? I think it was. Possibly the Express. Very noisy. I don't know if we'll get any trains running underneath us there. Possibly only depot access. Maybe freight trains for us. We are going to be setting up quite a lot of freight on this map. Which will uh, be a bit of fun. And I'm looking forward to all of this. It's coming together, isn't it? I know I say that a lot, but uh, I, I genuinely think it is. Still bits and bobs that need detailing. While I sit on board with you. I keep noticing them. Every time we pass that bridge, I'm like, I need to put the concrete in there. I need to weed the tracks a little bit. Track side's a bit rough here. But uh, yeah, for the first time, we will be uh, heading past Crossmaloof and continuing on. On to the East Kilbride branch. There we go, and there's our, one of our circle trains looking like it's working. Because it's all dirty. Guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.